So we remember from calculus one that f prime of x is the limit as delta x goes to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. Now, do you remember what that meant geometrically? Think about that for a second. What did that represent? So we recall this kind of image, f of x plus delta x is this y value, f of x is this y value, change in x is the difference of those two x values. So this is the second y value minus the first y value. This is the second x value minus the first x value. That's a slope. So f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x is the slope of this line PQ. Now, what happens is delta x shrinks to zero. That secant gets closer and closer to a tangent. So if we take the limit as delta x goes to zero of that secant line, we get the slope of the tangent line. And that's what f prime of x represents. So indeed, f prime of x is the slope of the tangent line to that function y equals f of x at that value x. Now, we want to talk about a partial derivative. So we need to think about surfaces in space and how slopes could be part of that discussion. So the uh, green in this diagram represents the surface z equals f of xy in three dimensions. And what I have in the first picture is notice the y values are always the same. This blue plane is y equals some fixed y value, in this case, y naught. And that blue plane intersects the surface. And now that gives us a curve, and we can find the slope of the tangent line at that curve. So, so what is that telling me? y is a fixed value. What is the rate of change of the height with respect to x for a fixed y value? Similarly, over to this piece, what do we have? We have the x value is fixed. So all of these points on this blue plane correspond to x equals some value. In this case, x equals x naught. So imagine for the sake of discussion, this is x equals 1. So x equals 1 is that plane. It intersects this thing. It intersects this surface. And I'm left with a curve. So now the tangent line there would be change in z divided by change in y once x is fixed. And that is what the partial derivative represents. It's a rate of change in that direction, fixing the other variable. So let's take a look at an example. So I have f of xy is 3x squared y plus 2xy plus 7x plus 1. And I want to define the following partial derivative of f with respect to x. So here's some notation we're going to use. The partial derivative of f with respect to x. We use this strange looking d to define that. That's one notation we use. Another notation we use is f with a subscript of x. And, and what is this approximately, right? It's the change in the z value, the height, divided by the change in the x value when the y value is fixed. So that's our idea, and we're going to go ahead and work that for this function. Let's go ahead and do that computation for that function, and it's going to be some algebra to work with, but we should be able to get there. So this is the uh, function that we're working with, and what do we need to find? We need to find that following limit. Partial of f with respect to x written either of those two ways is that limit. Now, to make our life a little easier with the algebra, we're going to break this up into pieces. I'm first going to evaluate f of x plus delta x comma y. Then I will subtract f of x, y. Then I will divide delta x. Then I will take a limit. So we're going to do this in pieces rather than trying to do it all at once. But piece one is going to find f of x plus delta x comma y, which requires me to replace each x with x plus delta x. Which brings us here, each x replaced in red with x plus delta x. Now we have to do some computation.
All right, making sure I have the Y in that position. Now let's do our computation. So all I've done here is I've squared this binomial. X plus delta X squared is X squared plus two X delta X plus X squared plus, I put the three Y in front here. I put the two Y in front here. Now it's time to distribute. Distributing three Y times X squared, three X squared Y, three times two six X Y delta X, three Y times delta X squared, two Y times X, two X Y, two Y times delta X, seven times X is seven X seven times delta x, seven delta x plus one. So that's pretty good for f of x plus delta x comma y. Now I've got to subtract f of x, y. What is f of x, y? We see f of x, y up here, three x squared y plus two x, y plus seven x plus one. Three x squared y, I'm writing it directly under the three x squared y. Two x, y, writing it directly under two x, y. Seven x directly under seven x one directly under one. Now I need to subtract. And the nice thing when I subtract, these all subtract out. And what do I get? You see what remains? 6xy delta x, 3y delta x squared, 2y delta x, and 7 delta x. And then what do I have to do next? I have to divide by delta x and then eventually take a limit. So if I divide this whole thing by delta x, where is that going to get me? So all I've done here is I've divided the left side by delta x, divided the right side by delta x, and just clarify the notation when I mean delta x squared, that is the change in x multiplied by the change in x. Now to do my next line, I've got to factor a delta x out of those four pieces on top. What will that give me? Factoring out the delta x, 6xy plus 3y delta x plus 2y plus 7. So you can see what happens here now. The delta x's go away, and we have simplified that fraction. And we are here. So f of x plus delta x comma y minus f of xy over delta x equals that. And what's the last thing we have to do? Remember, the partial derivative with respect to x is the limit as delta x goes to zero of that thing. So let's go ahead and take that limit. So we're here, and the limit as delta x goes to zero will be what? Well, 6xy plus 3y times zero plus 2y plus 7. And our final answer is, again, for our partial derivative of f, with respect to x is simply going to be 6xy plus 2y plus 7. That's our limit definition of the partial derivative. Now, you may recognize that was an awful lot of work. Might there be a quicker way to get the answer? And the answer is yes. So how do I find the partial of f with respect to x, which is the same as f sub x. Well, I take the partial with respect to x of 3x squared y plus the partial with respect to x of 2xy plus the partial with respect to x of 7x plus the partial with respect to x of 1. And the thing to keep in mind here is y is perceived as a constant. So if we go back to Calc 1 stuff, you can pull constants out in front of derivative operators. Y is perceived as a constant. So this will be three Y times the partial with respect to X of X squared, plus similarly two Y times the partial with respect to X of X. Now, if there's only one variable, you can think of it as a regular derivative. The partial derivative with respect to X of seven X is the same as the derivative with respect to seven X, which is seven. Similarly, similarly, the derivative with respect to x of one is zero. Where does that give me? Three y times two x plus two y times one plus seven, six x y plus two y plus seven. Much faster than using our limit definition. Just like we saw back in Calc one, using our rules of derivatives makes this go a lot faster. Now, how about we take the partial with respect to y? What is the partial of f with respect to y? The notation we would use for that would be f sub y. That's the partial with respect to y of the first piece. 
plus the partial with respect to y of the second piece, plus the partial with respect to y of the third piece, plus the partial with respect to y of the last piece. And again, y is now considered the variable, x is considered to be a constant. So 3x squared comes in front, 3x squared times the partial with respect to y of y, plus 2x comes out in front, partial with respect to y of y plus. What is the partial with respect to y of 7x? 7x is thought of as a constant. A derivative of a constant is 0. So the partial with respect to y, since there's no y's, will be 0. And similarly, the partial with respect to y of 1, the regular derivative of 1, is 0. What is this going to give me? 3x squared times 1 plus 2x times 1, which will equal 3x squared plus 2x.